at the end of the movie, where where does Mad Max go from here? He's like John Wayne <laughs> in the searchers, you know, heading off. Well, we that's going to vary according to who watches the movie. Initially, in our very first version of the storyboards, Max goes up there with him. And when we really dug down deeper into the character, I remember it was Nico Lutherus and Tom who said, oh, I don't think he'd go. He hasn't earned it. It's only been three days since he was essentially a wild animal. And, um, and then, and, and, and I realised, yes, that, that's right. He, he hadn't, uh, he hadn't really, he hadn't evolved enough. And so we went back to the, the classic Western, uh, you know, Shane, John Wayne. Um, the loner. The, the loner. And that's, and, and he is that, that man, that, that sort of more moral, uh, every man wandering the wasteland in search of meaning. And I, I think, uh, I, it felt, it felt more appropriate. And the speculation about Max and Furiosa going up there, the audience is left with this idea that um, somehow everything's going to be okay and the couple are together and it just didn't feel right. And, and that came up just before we started shooting. And I, and, and, and I think we made the right decision. But as you go forward, um, there's lots of rumors about what the next one might be. It, it sounds like it's going to be about him and not about her. Well, uh, here's, here's what I'm going to say. I, it, we, we're definitely talking uh, about other movies. We have written screenplays. But every time I try to talk about them, even, even talk about the titles, um, I'm trying to avoid spoilers, and I, 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 I talk around, around it, and, uh, and I found the best thing, the best thing I can say uh, is to say, the hope is there will be other movies, but, and there's certainly very, um, you know, very, what's the word, there's certainly energetic uh, conversations about them, but I can't talk about the content. And whatever you have written isn't necessarily what you're going to wind up shooting. No, no. But right? We, yes, we, we, we did write uh, a lot of backstories in the, in the downtime. And, you know, I can tell you backstories about the Doof Warrior. I can tell you about how, how he survived, this man who's blind and, and, and mute, uh, how he survived the apocalypse and how he got caught up with him more I know who his mother was. And so on. So we know so much more about Max and Furiosa and Nux and all those sort of characters. Sounds like it would lend itself to some alternative transmedia presentation as well, uh, like a Lucasfilm universe. If we if we had the time, and, and so that would be that that would be an interesting thing to do. Because if there were, as I understand, you know, something like you know, 3,500 storyboards or, or whatever, you know, that you guys prepared um, with, with Brendan McCarthy. Uh, you, you, you know, I almost wonder if there could be Mad Max comic books. And, and well, there have been some. Right. Uh, Mark Sexton, one of the uh, artists, uh, uh, one of the storyboard artists, has, has, has worked on, on those. And Peter Pound, who, who was the other storyboard artist, has done some. And Brendan, who was caught up in a graphic novel, he's interested in doing some. And so, so some of these backstories can, can get there. And, uh, but are you still sort of ready? Are you recuperating? I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you did this extraordinarily demanding shoot. I can't imagine you want to get back in there right away. And yet yeah. how much time is left for you to be at the height of your powers, that's, right? Uh, that's... We, we, we don't know, and and uh, it, it it does take it, 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 you know the thought of going back into the wasteland is it, it is daunting in some way. But what happens is a, there's a kind of gravitational pull towards a story, and uh, and I almost I don't make many films, so it's that almost has to happen, and then you really have no choice in the process. So, but I, there. there 
there are other f scripts that I've been working on and films I want to make and, and uh, beforehand, but I know my hope is that the next one I do is a very small film without a lot of visual effects and not an epic, epic, epic shoot and so on. It doesn't try to. Tr you know, I'm always drawn to the technology in the way that it can help tell a particular story, and I just wanted to make it a low tech movie uh, and, and, and get it done quickly, so I get get it in and out and just uh, um, and get them done. But, but, but I, you know. So something about the characters and something about that world, um, they, they, they're part of me. They were, they were, it's what bangs around in the back of my well, head. this sort of came to you in a dream, right? On yeah. an airplane. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. And not, it has not, a quality. Not quite a dream, but that, that space between sleep and wake, uh, wakefulness. And, and, and they, they sort of, you know, you're daydreaming, I guess, yeah. And you had this image of the five women? Yeah. And, 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 uh, a war rig and a, a female road warrior, and it was a continuous chase. And Max gets caught up in that vortex. That was the the, the germinating idea.